Here we are today. We got a 1v1 tournament going on between the vacuum machines. Which one's better to scrap? Um, we have an 80s older Hoover vacuum and we have a newer 2000 Dyson vacuum. Which one do you think uh, would be better? Um, in the comments below, I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you pick up vacuums? What do you do with vacuums when you see them? Are they worth scrapping to you? Do you just pull the cords? Do you go into them, get the motors? Or do you just keep driving. Anyways, let us know. Um, we're going to find out today which ones are best. The older ones, the newer ones, or any of them. Do they have copper motors or aluminum motors? We'll strip uh, the, the cords as well just to, to help out with uh, the copper amount. But anyways, don't forget to hit that uh, like button or the thumbs up. And uh, also, we would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and follow along with us for future adventures, either in 1v1 tournaments or whatever else we post on this channel. We like to do a lot of different scrapping, um, fun activities. So thank you for following along and uh, here we go. All right, so we've got everything stripped down. Um, white tubs, Dyson vacuum, black tubs, Hoover, definitely aged more. So I'm gonna get in there. It looks like there's some good copper in there. You can't see it very well, but um, we'll get in there and file it and see if it's aluminum. We got a little bit of brass here. This sucker was like peeling an onion to try to get to the center of it. The thing took me like 15, 20 minutes to do. Where this, I was able to do in about five minutes. Uh, had about a dozen screws that I took out. That came right out. Obviously, I've got to break these down a little further. It did have a little bit of cast aluminum with it, um, along with the, this plate that was on the bottom, which is cast as well. So, gonna have a lot more aluminum. This housing looks like it's still, and I, that's all plastic on that housing. So, anyways. We'll keep going. There was a little motherboard there. Um, really not much on there, so. And uh, and our cords, of course. I'm gonna keep the plugs for another video with plugs just because that's what I'm gonna do. So anyways, so we'll eliminate both those and that'll cancel out that way, so. Props to Dyson for using copper. This sucks. So all the wire I'm taking, I've cut into shorter strips now, but I have to get that off. You can't just pull it. There's two different ones and all these are twisted up. So trying to extract that has been rather a task. It is quite daunting when you get this big ball. So anyways, all right, we have our way-ups here. Just got done weighing it on the scale. So this is our Dyson vacuum. This is the old vacuum. <clears throat> so uh, number two copper, we ended up with actually 13, a little over 13 ounces, an ounce of aluminum, um, brass. We ended up with, let's see, what was that? Like uh, a seventh of an ounce. 
and uh, the motor um, was about 11 ounces. That's 25 cents here in Utah. Um, this motor was a little bit bigger. Um, it was just a like pound five ounces. Um, our number two was only five ounces. Um, very lightweight. As you can see, it's very nasty on that cord where our Dyson was very clean on the cord, getting that out and had a lot more copper in it. Um, our brass for the old one, we have about five ounces and the cast aluminum we have about a pound and four ounces. So totaling for the Dyson, it's about $2.59 once we total everything up scrap wise. As for the old vacuum, it's a dollar uh, 79. So even though the vet Dyson was a pain in the butt to pull apart, it's actually starting to come out better. But what I'm gonna do is take and melt this down now, and uh, I'm gonna add this aluminum once again with the cash just because there's not that much. Um, and I will not be melting the brass, just the copper, and we'll do one aluminum bar. Um, I'm gonna save the copper or the brass for another video. So anyways, looks like the Dyson is pulling ahead even though it was a pain to get into. This was extremely easy, um, but that's where we're at. All right, and there we have it. Um, my vise broke, so I wasn't able to clean these up very well, but here's our 1v1 competition, the Dyson vacuum versus the 80s vacuum. Uh, Dyson takes a win on this one. Unfor no. Unfortunately, it was a pain in the butt to get into, but we did get a decent amount of copper out of that uh, versus the 80s vacuum, but you know we weren't able to uh, capture a lot of aluminum out of the 80s vacuum. So. Um, once again, I don't have the brass here. I'm putting them in a pile for another one, but uh, on this one, uh, Dyson takes it. Um, thank you for watching again. Don't forget to hit that like button or the thumbs up button. And also, uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. Help us get to our goal of a thousand subscribers um, in the next couple months. I know it's a long shot, but everyone that's willing to will help. Um, also, throw in the comments what vice you feel is best. Um, 
help me out with that um, if you found one that you like uh, better than the other ones. The one I had before was just a cheap Harbor Freight one. <sighs> I don't want to do that again so much, but um, given my budget, I may have to. I don't know. Just let me know what your thoughts are. Um, anyways, also, uh, hope you all have a great day and God bless and have a, a good week.